the time of my life is, is uh, based on a true story, the story of the first man, young man, who was 39, who in Belgium um, was able to use uh, our law on euthanasia because he was the one who fought for this same law even um, before he himself got down with a very, very aggressive kind of uh, uh, multiple sclerosis. Uh, but more than that, it's a story about friendship, it's a story about solidarity of, of well, the people around him, how did they live this, this uh, very, very, you can imagine, um, difficult fight. And, um, well, as few people maybe know, it's so, there's only two countries in the world, Belgium, the Netherlands, and then Luxembourg. And then there's Switzerland, who has some other kind of leg legislation, where where you actually can decide to also end your life when you want it. And so this was actually a historical event. And the strange thing is that this historical event happened so close to me because this young man, Mario Verstraten, was well one of the best friends of my brother. So it's a very personal story also. I think uh, talking about euthanasia, you, people like would, would ask me now, oh, so are you pro or against? And I think that kind of clouds the issue. We are all against dying. We are all against sickness and, and um, still um, we're going to go towards uh, a, a future where, where people will be in the driving seat of their own lives, uh, even at the end of their lives. Now it's it's doctors that, for the most part, for more than 50%, decide on how long we will live. And um, so that's intervening right there. Uh, and the strange thing is that, well, in my country, since 10 years, this has changed. People organize their own farewell um, uh, ceremonies while they're still there. This has changed the grammar of of adieu forever and I wanted to tell that story to to the world and, and thanks for example to the Cleveland Film Festival and, and to the fact that the film is coming out here we, we can now but also we wanted to make a film that, that's warm and loving uh, a film about life uh, it's not a film a depressing film about death